Hey, good Monday morning to you all uh, after a long weekend, a uh, great fourth weekend, but now it's back to Monday, back to work and all that good stuff. So our gospel today is from Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 through 26. And this is, uh, we heard this through Mark's gospel a couple weeks ago, uh, maybe about two weeks ago. So this is Matthew's version of the, of the healings of the young girl and then the older woman in these two stories. And you know, it's to me, it brings up the issue, you know, what is life and, you know, and, and bringing back to life because it clearly brings the young girl back to life, but he also restores life to the, the woman who had been bleeding for 12 years in Matthew's story. Uh, because for her life, she would have been separated from others because of the bleeding, because blood was a taboo and, and, and would have kept her isolated. And so, it, the, clearly, the message is that in Jesus Christ, there is life and life to the fullness. And I think we have to look at ourselves too and say, okay, are we alive? And are we finding life in Christ? And life, I think I said my homie, is not just the fact that you know, our, our pulse is going, our heart is beating, and that, that there's more to life than that, that it is about our relationships, it's about being alive. Uh, and in Christ we can become more fully alive because in Christ I think we receive that grace, that power to forgive of one another which keeps us down. Uh, we find that grace, that power to do new things, to, to, to take the risks and be vulnerable to other people like this woman did when she touched his tassel. Uh, that, to open ourselves up to enhance our relationships. Uh, we find the grace the, to be grateful for the things that we have in life. Uh, and I can go on a little bit more. But I think that's the important thing to remember, you know, that are we truly alive? Are we living? Um, you know, I, I've made it fairly open that for years I dealt with depression and such, and I don't think I was really alive. I wrapped up my fears and such as it was. And I was only through uh, good work of people and, and through spirituality that I'd become more alive. Uh, here I am. You know, on my way to 50, I feel more alive at 50 than I ever did at 25. So, in us, I think that's our, our challenge. It's our it's our goal. It's it's an invitation to deepen our relationship with Christ and our faith, and in doing so, finding more life. All right. Hopefully, that makes good sense. And uh, I think I yeah, I'll see you every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all this week. Okay. So take care. Stay cool. Uh, watch out for any flash floods if they happen, all right? Uh, they're messy. Okay, bye-bye.